Hello, this is Lachimi Kantiwari. In this video tutorial, we will create a new component of HTM32F4. So let's first search whether we can find our microcontroller into the multi-sim database. So how we can do? Just we can click on it and select the master database and all group. And let's search ARM, of course. We won't find any ARM microcontroller by searching only ARM. Let's search STM32. No. Let's search CC3200. Okay. No microcontroller. But I have created CC3200. You can find into the corporate database. Uh, sorry, not into the corporate database. Uh, it is into the user database. These are the some custom made components. Okay. CC2650 and 3200. Similarly, we will create STM32F4. Okay. So here we are going to create a new microcontroller component that is STM32F4. So how, what you can do? Click on tool and then component wizard. Write the name that is the STM32 F4 and uh, it is ARM Cortex M4 F micro controller. Now we are going to make a simulation and the layout. And if you only make a simulation model, then select it. And if you want to make only the layout, select this one. And this is the analog component. And then click on the next. Select the footprint. Now the question comes, how do you know which footprints is suitable for STM32F4? So let's see the database. STM32F4 01 have a multi, have a variety of pins such as WLCSP 49 pin, LQFP 100 pins, its size is 14 by 14 mm and QFN 48, its size is 4 by, sorry, its size is 7 by 7 mm and VGA 100 pins, its size is 7 by 7 mm. So let's design this microcontroller. QFN 48, 7 by 7 mm. Okay, so we need to search QFPN. Okay, QFPN. So let's search QFPN. So into the master database, filter, add row, the manufacturing footprint which contains 48. Now here, you will get all the footprints which is available. Okay, so here the very first one is the QFP and the QFN. Okay, so we can select this one. Find select it and it is just single components. There are 48 pins. Select the next. Now you can edit your component from here. Okay, it will take a time. I'm not going to edit it very much here. But what you can do, you can expand it by using this tool and then click it and then expand it and after that uh, you can move these pins and you can make it like a rectangular or a square okay Fine. Click on the next. And these are the symbol pins. Click on the next and go to the map pins. So the footprint and the symbol pin number one is the same. So just I am auto assigning. So one will be mapped to the one, two will be mapped to the two, three will be mapped to the three. So there won't be any problem. Just click on the OK and then to the next. And here dot SUV CKT and the name STM32F4 and then dot ENDS ends and click on the next okay yes 
and the next and you just place your component somewhere let's place it into the analog into the user database into the analog and it is finished fine so here stm32 f4 component is for you now you can search it into the database all group let's search it stm32 f4 is available Okay, into the user database fine and stm32 l4 i already had it and if we select it you can see uh, in fact we can make this like this one okay thank you so much for watching this tutorial and uh, stay tuned for more tutorial